are all men really created equal? Topeka, Kansas was your typical Southern American town. Racism and hatred towards African Americans were high. African Americans were being deprived of the basic right of freedom. The Jim Crow laws made it so African Americans were separated from whites in all types of ways. This included segregated bathrooms, movie theaters, buses, and even within this own, their own schools. Black people went to schools a lot smaller, more cramped, less materials, non-qualified teachers, and was filled with dust and dirt compared to the schools of the whites. White people fought for complete segregation within their own schools, while African Americans fought for total integration in not only the schools, but in all parts of society. That all changed in 1954 when seven-year-old Linda Brown challenged the Jim Crow laws. By law, Linda Brown was required to attend a black school 20 blocks from her house without a transportation system. That wasn't good enough for her father, so he tried to transfer her to the white school nearby. After the school declined her, the NAACP teamed up with the Browns to take the Board of Education to court. The trial was very controversial and attracted a lot of attention, especially from black society. During the two-year-long trial, the Supreme Court was deciding whether separate but equal is really equal indeed. The Brown family was represented by lawyer Thurgood Marshall. The final verdict, decided by Chief Justice Warren, was that segregation in schools was in fact unconstitutional. The resulting verdict was publicized across the nation through all types of news media. The major form was through journalism and newspaper headlines. It was hard to not find a newspaper without a headline and about the banning of segregation within the school system. Even though segregation was banned from schools and declared unconstitutional, many white adults and children still viewed and treated African Americans as... This resulted in many African Americans having to be protected by National Guard members when attending their new integrated schools. Regardless, many white people were upset over the new law. As a result, many years later of the Brown v. Board of Education trial, African Americans across the country now know what it's like to truly be free. Children are now put together in the same school, and it doesn't even matter just because of that wonderful case that changed all of America. There is no segregation in the schools now and will never be for our future children and even their children in the future.